could you be a full-time vegan? No meat or animal-derived foods like eggs or milk mean that a vegan's diet consists of just fruit, vegetables, grains and nuts. Although we humans evolved as omnivores, eating a combination of meat and veggies, the vegan lifestyle has taken root in Western culture, and there are now at least half a million people shunning animal products in the UK alone. And there are some proven health boosts. Although plants can't supply all the vitamins and minerals that our bodies need, studies have found that vegan diets reduce the likelihood of type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, and even some types of cancer. But what would happen if the whole world turned vegan overnight? Well, at the moment, us humans are almost unbelievably dependent on animals for food. There are thought to be around three and a half billion cows, sheep and pigs, and tens of billions of chickens reared for food every year. That's equivalent to one cow and about four chickens for every two people on the planet. Of course, you're not expected to keep your cow friends in your house, so nearly 70% of the world's 50 million square kilometres of agricultural land is devoted to livestock. The rest is used to grow plant crops, but a third of these are used for feeding the animals too. That means a total of 40 million square kilometres, almost equivalent to North and South America combined, are totally devoted to our meat-eating habits. Under a sudden vegan regime, we'd have no need for the animals or their food, instantly freeing up a land area equivalent to the whole of Africa for other uses. Only roughly 20% of this would be needed to feed the 7 billion new herbivores too, since plants can typically pack in more protein per square kilometre than animals. Of course, there's the small problem of what would happen to the billions of domesticated farm animals no longer needed. If they were released into the wild, the majority would sadly become the next next meal for wild predators. Although some, like the wild chickens of Kauai in Hawaii, could go feral and learn to thrive on their own. In the long term, the effects on the environment are even more striking. Our planet is currently facing a climate change crisis as a result of greenhouse gas emissions and the warming they create. Gases, like carbon dioxide, are emitted when fuels are burned, but are absorbed back into the environment by plants during photosynthesis. Too much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere acts like a blanket, keeping the Earth's heat in and causing global warming. At the moment, livestock farming alone is responsible for around 15% of our greenhouse gas emissions, which is more than the emissions from trains, planes and automobiles combined. If everyone suddenly became vegan, food-related emissions are predicted to drop by around 70%. Much of this will be thanks to a big reduction in the numbers of cows whose belches and farts contain methane, a greenhouse gas four times more potent than carbon dioxide. The eventual conversion of most of the pastures back to natural forests and meadows would also increase the number of plants available to do photosynthesis and suck back in carbon dioxide. And the return of wild forests will be a boost to biodiversity too. Expanding natural habitats will allow a whole host of native species to recolonize, from the smallest insect to the fiercest wolf. So far, it sounds like veganism is just what we need to solve all the problems in the natural world. But this isn't the whole story. While in theory, the removal of animal farming will release all of this new land, not all of it will be useful. In fact, around one third of the world's land area is arid or semi-arid, meaning that there's not enough water to support anything other than animal agriculture. And in some places, the loss of livestock could even have a negative impact on biodiversity, like in Scotland, where herds of grazing sheep keep the balance of plant populations just right. Without them to crop the grass, some delicate species could be overwhelmed. Sudden veganism would also send a shockwave around the human population. Some one billion people worldwide are employed full-time in rearing and processing livestock. Remove the demand for those animals, and we would be faced with an unemployment crisis of unprecedented levels. Not only that, but our herbivory could bring around the complete destruction of many human cultures, as nomadic pastoral 
pastoral farmers are forced to move into towns and cities and cows as currency suddenly lose their market value. Even in developed countries, a vegan lifestyle can have unexpected consequences on our social lives and the economy. At the moment, animal derivatives are incorporated into a whole range of products, including beer, cosmetics, sugar, condoms. The list goes on and on. Finding plant-based alternatives isn't impossible, but it won't be quick or easy. All of this is pretty drastic, so perhaps it's a good thing that it's practically impossible for the entire globe to go vegan overnight. In reality, any change will be much, much more gradual, allowing the environment and human culture to adapt naturally. Even then, it's unlikely that everyone will become a vegan, and in fact, developing countries like India and China are currently increasing their meat consumption, even as others tuck into their green superfood smoothies. But what about you? Would you be a vegan to try and save the planet? Let us know how it would affect your lives in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more nature videos.